All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Um, well, y'all want to know what is my outlook for America? All right, and I'm going to go ahead and, and give you the skinny. I'm going to give it to you exactly how I see it. And, and my sight is based on looking in the past. If you ever want to know how things are going to go, going forward, wisdom teaches you that the best thing you can do is look in the past. There's also a definition of insanity that they say. And what they say is this. They say that if you continue to keep doing the same things that you have always done and you expect change, you are insane. That's what they say. And there's a cliche that says that all good things must come to an end. With all that said, Based on the history of the Egyptians, the Greeks, and the Romans, America is getting ready to collapse. America is coming down. We've had a 200-something year run, and it's over. It's game over. Now, the truth is, it's already been game over for quite some time. The reason why you can't see it is because just like all these other empires, these great empires that has risen and then they have fallen, they all made the same mistake. And what mistake was that? They were all insolvent. Every single one of them. Economically, they were depressed. What do you mean, Pastor Dow? They all devalued their money system. They did. They all devalued. See, at least one thing about those first three empires that I mentioned is that they knew what sound money was, i.e. silver and gold. This country started off knowing what sound money was, i.e. silver and gold. As a matter of fact, it's actually even written in the Constitution. Some way, somehow, the powers that be, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, and all these other people, they have been able to impoverish the whole entire world by giving them a fiat currency money system. To where I, I, I myself personally, I am literally appalled when I go to the store or, or when I go places and I, and I buy things. I am literally appalled that with a credit card, you don't get to see anything. It's all electronic. And you can buy stuff. I mean, you can go into the store and take paper. Something that has no intrinsic value whatsoever at all. And you can buy something. Wow. It doesn't trouble me at all if you was to use silver and gold. But if you ever try to take a piece of silver to a merchant and have him to look up the value of it and then try to buy something with it, they wouldn't even sell it to you. I remember some years ago, I went to a meeting and I had a one ounce gold coin. I asked a lady in Chicago, would you give me $50 for this coin? She said, nope, sure won't, won't do it. I said to myself, maybe if I go the opposite way, because, you know, when you go lower, people, they still won't do it because I've seen it over and over again on the internet. So I said, how about $100? Nope, I ain't going to do it. And I went to a certain um, value, and then I stopped. And then when I told them how much it was at that time, the value of this gold coin, which at the time I think it was like $1,400 an ounce, I said, you could have just made uh, the profit of your life, 50 bucks for $1,400 coin. But since you're ignorant, and you're dumb, and you're stupid, and you don't know history because you're bought and bitten of the fruit of lies that this society is giving you, hey, what do you do? You deserve exactly what you get. Well, some of us can see the writing. Some of us can see the forest for the trees. And um, I tell you, there's one reason why that I believe in preparing. Because 
Pastor Dow and anyone who chooses to listen to me, we're not going to make the same mistakes in the past that other people have. You know, when the depression was here, and believe me, it's still here. And let me touch on this. The reason why you can't see it is because they have a printing press. They have been kicking the proverbial can down the road. When Obama took office, we were something like $9 trillion in debt. Now Obama is leaving office with $20 trillion in debt. Most of you don't understand economics. But what they're saying is, is that is indenturing you, your children, and your children's children saddled with this debt. And the debt has got to be paid. And right up under your nose, China is buying up the United States of America, big chunks of land, right up under your nose. And remind you, we say that they're a communist country. If they're communists, then what are we? I'm not denying that they are, but what are we then? And we, we have people still to this day have not bought one ounce of silver or one ounce of gold after listening to me. Not one, not one ounce. It's appalling to me. They have not stored any food. They have not even tried to go out and see if they can find a little piece of land somewhere to build a homestead. Or, uh, uh, sometimes we, they call it a bug out location. Uh, many of you have not done anything to become mutually assistant with anyone. None, none whatsoever at all. None whatsoever at all. You have not tried to cultivate or build relationships with anyone. You don't have a tight-knit group. You're still in the cities and you can't trust people. I understand it takes time to get out of these cities, believe me, but you should be working towards it and you should be wise. A wise man always builds his house. He does. And um, our economic system is done for. It's finished. Everybody in the world is moving away from the dollar. All major industrialized countries are moving away from the dollar. See, what happened was in the past that if people tried to move away from the dollar, we would trump up some charges against their uh, alleged so-called dictators and then we'd go blow up the countryside and then that would change their mind. Well, that's not working now. It's not working no more. And um, uh, the other day somebody said, Pastor, I heard, you, I heard you talk about silver every once in a while, but why are you not talking about it much more? I said, because I've said everything that need to be said. There are plenty of people talking about it on here. Go on and listen to him. Uh, I'm too busy uh, doing the next stage, uh, which is preparing my house. Why do you think you see me running around all over the east here, the east coast, uh, doing things and stuff? That's because I'm, I'm preparing. And I know that there are a lot of times that there are people um, that are in the ministry uh, that are behind me. They don't have any idea what's coming. They don't know how to prepare. They don't know what to do. And and uh, and if I don't keep their feet to the fire, they still ain't doing nothing. It's evident. It's obvious. I, you know, if you want to see the blessings upon someone's life, if they're really truly blessed, all you have to do, and I said it once, I said it a thousand times, and I'm going to echo the Bible again. Pay attention. Pay attention to the labor of their hands. A blessed person is a person that produces. If you saved at least 20 cans of food, you've done more than 90% of the people that listen to me. Wow. You're blessed. If you've bought at least five ounces of silver ever since you've listened to me, you've done more than 90% of the people that listen to me. I'm telling you. And the day is going to come, and it's almost here, that you're going to think the day that you listen to Pastor Dow. America's coming down. Uh, there's no good outlook for it. There's no good outlook, especially when a country doesn't know how to balance a checkbook, and neither do they have a stomach to balance the budget. It's just not, it's just not good. Um, we're following in the exact footsteps. Now, that's on the economic end. Look at the moral end. I mean, the Romans... It was, legal, it was legal for them to be monolegamous, to have a wife, but it was also legal for them to go to brothels, houses, houses of ill repute, and it was also normal for them to have a boyfriend. As a matter of fact, the whole army was an army of homosexuals, and um, none of that was punishable. It wasn't a punishable crime. 
What's happening with America? What's going on with America? We have a decline in morality, huh? The Ten Commandments, everybody was making a big fit about them not being in school. Where they at? They should be in your home. And if you are all disturbed about the way secular society is going, pull your children out of them school system and school them yourself. Simple. Solution. Now, we've got men running around irresponsible thinking that they can actually do what they want to do and be presumptuous and there's not going to be nobody to hold them to the fire. There's not going to be any judgment for it. Um, it's not going to happen here. Not a straight way, it ain't. Uh, and I will tell everybody, don't bank on my love and my big heart um, thinking that I won't judge you as well. Somebody said, who are you judge? We're talking about in the ministry. We're not talking about all you people that listen to me. There's an order to things. Yes, it is. There's an order. Just like out there in the world. They have an order, don't they? Well, we have an order too. But anyway, hey, um, on this National Day of Mourning, I hope that you're doing something to prepare so you don't have to mourn later. And then, last but not least, how many of you have hunting skills? How many of you even know how to use a gun? How many of you even know what a gun is? How many of you still have the feelings that, that, that guns are evil? Whew. How are you going to eat if you don't know how to field dress an animal? Wow. Hope I said something to stimulate thought. <laughs>